முதல் முறையாக ஃப்ரைஸ் வித் பொட்டேட்டில் அபிஷேக் குமார் என்கிற ஒரு ஸ்டாண்ட் அப் கொமீடியன் அவர் வெளிநாட்டெல்லாம் டூர் பண்ணி சென்னை மறுபடியும் அவரோட சொந்த ஊருக்கே வந்திருக்காரு அண்ட் நம்ம பாட்காஸ்ட் ஷோக்கும் வந்திருக்காரு அதுக்கு மிக நன்றி தேங்க்யூ ஸோ மச் ஃபார் பீங் என்னை உங்களது உங்களது பாட்காஸ்டில் வரவேற்பதற்கு மிக மிக நன்றி எனக்கு தான் திரு உருளைக்கிழங்கு மூஞ்சவர்கள் the the creator that i watched while i wanted to be a content creator thank you so okay abhishek so chennai kid who made it big in the content creator scene abdin sollana unga per na kandipa first edpa because it's not like you're only doing chennai shows or tamil shows you're going international and you have done shows everywhere and if you could you should i like reveal the projects that don't reveal now we okay. will towards the end okay 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 watch till the watch. end <laughs> <laughs> so upper end la theriyo why i'm saying that he is quite big and almost pan indian in solala nan nikire no you're pushing it konja <laughs> jaasti <laughs> but yeah i wanted to ask uh, start off with your theater journey yeah. i spoke to vikkels before yeah. this he was like the first stand up comedian on my show i think i think i wanted to talk about that as well my first ever public show was a theater show after college right mm-hmm. first ever professional where people buy tickets and come to the show first ever show me and vikkels were in the same play really i directed one of the plays which vikkel acted in in the second play in the same show we both acted together so it's very nice to see vikkels also getting the due credit for all the hard work he's put long such a nice guy honestly yeah, he's too much fun he's worked really hard to get here so i'm very very happy for vikkels and his entire team it's very nice to see a group of people working towards success and all of them getting the due credit so yeah. very nice so thanks for bringing that up yeah. vikkels and i did our first show together now we're doing shows in different countries so feels surreal okay, let me give you like a overall overview of abhishek story so like everyone he is also engineer turned theater artist <laughs> turned stand up comedian turned crowd worker crowd worker <laughs> and content creator yeah. but uh, i i wanted, like the order i i will take that any day i wanted to ask why it's so common for people who are from theater to go into stand up comedy and crowd work i think it's very important for you to feel comfortable on stage that's one of the reasons why a lot of theater actors become comedians very easily you get the basics right you you get your pauses right you get your act outs right so it's very easy for a theater person to go on stage deliver jokes mm. because for them when they can memorize so much big big lines and deliver it mm. to tell or talk about your own personal experiences on stage is going to be very easy okay because you don't have to memorize it it's not something forced okay. something has happened in your life okay. this is for people who talk about real life experiences okay. so adanalla theater uh, actors or theater artists can very easily become comedians case study is uh, vikkels vikram himself maya also maya also yeah. i feel like in uh, theater lend you will get two kind of two kinds of people yeah. one is like the serious actor in yeah. mainstream movies and then you get a stand up very stand-up. true very yeah. true yeah because both vikkels and i i'm referring too much to vikkels this is Maravan a free promotion <laughs> to vikkels we love vikkels yeah <laughs> both both of us did a lot of comedic roles because that came naturally to us yeah. theaterly there are a lot of genres like you yeah. said adala vandu comedy genre was something which i was very comfortable in fact I, the reason why i started doing stand up is because one of my theater producers was like just do stand up mm. there was a tuesday rehearsal for a play that saturday we had a show mm. he's like you're performing this saturday because one of the performers is not performing mm. Usually when stand up comedian start out you do 5 minute open mics mm. you test if that 5 minutes working but my first show I did 22 minutes what i still date find that to be one of my favorite shows oh because there was no concept there was no algorithm formula i just went and blabbered <laughs> when you blabber something which is so true to your heart it works because people OG are like crowd work uh, <laughs> no, not even crowd i never spoke to the crowd 22 oh. minutes of content i was doing stand up yeah parvali <laughs> what my parents said <laughs> இல்ல ரொம்ப கஷ்டம் தெரியுமா நானா ஐல் கிவ் யூ லைக் an understanding நான் வந்து ஒரு youtube video கோ ஸ்கிரிப்ட் எழுதுறனா ஒரு நாலு பேஜ் எழுதுறனா 1 minute க்கு வரும் हां so 22 minutes imagine how many jokes you must have packed in that which i assumed to be jokes which work because back then your first show is always 
biased. All your friends are there, family is there. If you are doing what you are doing, there is a support you have. So they laugh for most of the things you say. But still, I find that show to be very, very honest because I didn't try to be someone else. I just blabbered what I thought were jokes. Mm. So it worked really well. So I should thank that uh, theatre producer for giving me the chance. It was very easy for me. I didn't find stand-up to be a different art form. Mm. It was like doing theatre only, but with jokes, just jokes. So when you, okay, so now I have to say, like you have to do movies and stand-up, like I said, like in the theatre, there are two types of actors, like actors and comedians. comedians. So you have done both and you have to do both. and you are you are heavily on the stand up side ha huh. but recently at least from the projects that you shared it's like you're uh, you're also leaning into the actor side so is it like you're finding a balance between being an actor as well yeah, as yeah i am very greedy and uh, <laughs> delusional like that where i don't Everyone want to let to be delusional yeah all of us are yeah. all of us artists yeah. are kind of so i i don't want to let go of any opportunity i get okay. for for some time now I have never said no to anything. Okay. Which is a very bad habit I need to correct myself. Oh, okay. Stand up at least I know. I have been doing it for a while. But acting I don't know if it's a good role, if it's a great ah, okay. script. Mm. I just said yes because my screen time is important to me. Yeah. At least in the starting phase of it, my career, I want to put myself out there. I want to get my filmography rolling or whatever. As of now there is no balance. It's just me taking every opportunity that's coming. But in the recent past, so many recent times I have been selective of what I should take up. Mm. What works for me, what really resonates with me. Mm. and uh, like i said i'm very greedy i'm like if i i think i have few skill sets i want to show the audience that i can provide you this much mm. you like whatever you pick okay. because not everyone will like stand up correct not everyone will like the way i sing not everyone will like the way i act mm. but there will be an overlap here yeah. where i can please everyone yeah. that's my yeah i think ellarkume vande or at least with an uh, creator right what i see is everyone will have something like rendu moon skill set irukku adoda venn diagram avanga kitta mattum dhaan irukum and the intersection la avanga mattum dhaan perform panna mudiyum yeah yeah so it's like Correct. it's like a lot of people will have like the same skill set as you like neenga vande paadringa na so many musicians irukanga so many other yeah but how many of them like sing make movies at the same time also do stand do up, stand up yeah. and crowd work yeah. so on the on the intersection la there kurippitta rendu moonu perla only you nirmal yeah. few people that i can yeah. think of i'm very grateful for that because number one people have been very kind mm. when a comedian sings they don't introspect it as much as a singer singer i think i remember what is his name alex alex yeah yeah, yeah. yeah he's I, phenomenal i think he was the first one i saw who used to sing sing and, and yeah, yeah, yeah comedy alex is mm-hmm. a legend alex got an experience yeah alex for the show was not just stand up he yeah. was playing some six seven instruments while singing while doing jokes yeah is it talking about intersection <laughs> that's like a wild intersection yeah yeah it's mad so i think he's one of my uh, people i look up to he's amazing he's one, also one of the examples that stand up na veru nindu pesna ondradhu kadaiyadu you can do whatever you want as yeah. long as the audience get that paisa vasu okay. that's why i believe in okay. if someone has followed me i want to give them their time worth mm. someone has paid 500 x amount for my show mm. i want every rupee to be reimbursed for them okay. it's like a cover charge okay, you pay 1000 to enter a pub get all the drinks and drink and go off in my show i would like to give x amount of skills i have so that they enjoy something or the other and go back home so even though you did theater and con crowd work stand up all of that this all sort of blew up at covid yeah <laughs> which is like the worst time to yeah. blow up and na ina notice panirkana na vande ne i think pona episode la we were talking about content creators yaar la vande unnu irukanga some people like apdi uh, disappear right yeah, yeah, yeah especially the covid batch yeah and covid batch la nda yosikumode there were so many like uh, creators அப்ப பார்த்துட்டு இருந்தவங்கள நான் இப்ப பாக்குறேனா அப்படினு ஒரு நான் பார்க்கல அப்படினா நான் ரியலைஸ் பண்ணி நான் ஆல்ரெடி டெல் மீ ஐ நோ சோ many people who i don't see anymore exactly yeah yeah so on the covid batch of creators linde <laughs> this is like one senior batch <laughs> and the batch yeah. alumni at the same time covid nadandittu irukkum bodhe you were blowing up on instagram and comics than happen at the oh, same oh yeah time. that was a that was a luck dude i yeah. lucked out comics than was shot one and a half years before covid Okay. 2019 early comics than was shot and done mm. i had to hold on to the fact that i did this comics than okay. i couldn't tell okay. like movies and all you can tell in the padam panirukken mm. comics than we were sign we signed a contract telling don't reveal okay. anything because it was a competition okay. people can't know who won who came second okay. and all that comics than happened and comics than was just waiting for one year i'm like yo varuma varadane therilla nalla irukuma nalla irukum therilla and then janaki happened like mm. you said 
Janaki blew up so much. Janaki they became used the promotion for, for Comic Sans. Sans. Oh it's a my big God. joke. Which was so unreal to me. It was unreal to me also. I wish I got paid for it, but no. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, it's your show, promote it. But uh, yeah, it is unreal. Janaki, I would say COVID is the best time to blow up in a very yeah. selfish way. Yeah. A bad time for being happy and, you know, uh, over At the moon. At least for comedy, it was a great time. Comedy in general, people wanted us. Uh-huh. Us as in, people wanted entertainment. Yeah. So, you don't have a phone, you don't have a phone, you don't have a phone. Yeah. And like, at that time, I think like my phone usage would have been like 11 hours yes. straight. Yes, always. Know? We're always on a, perpetually on our phone. Yeah. So it was very nice to see people. I used to get this big messages mm. every day because Janaki helped me when I was in isolation. A lot of doctors were like, every time I got a half an hour break, I used to come watch <laughs> Janaki videos. They used to come. working overtime back yeah. then. Yeah, so it was very nice to Remember see. Remember that era when you were just clapping outside the balcony? I was not, maybe you were. No, uh, I didn't do that. I didn't do that, but everyone, we were all Samia like... Samia was, <laughs> when people were dying, Samia was in the balcony. Remember, clapping. remember they asked us to do that by the government. They were, they, no one asked you to clap, they asked you to tap on the plates. If you were clapping, you were doing something very weird. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's tapping the plates, Samia was like, Nalla <laughs> Super Super. <laughs> I was like so ready to die during COVID. What I got it like suddenly sweet. it became dark. This podcast. <laughs> Every time you say something inappropriate, I'm gonna clap. <laughs> I got it three times, and all the three times I was just like, I'm gonna die this time. <laughs> I got it twice. Actually, I got it thrice. Third one was random after everything got Yeah, out. yeah, same. I was just like, you COVID, Varma, and then I went. Yeah, yeah, same, same. Last time. True. Full, all three times, <laughs> but okay. So, what happened? What was it? Ah, Janaki happened. Very, very. It was lovely. But then, I felt like I was doing the same thing again and again and again. Yeah, I think we were getting hate at that time. Always I got hate. Hate was perpetual. Hate, you will get. Mm. Hate yeah, the, but up chronically online, all of them are in the hate would be different. Yeah, different is, breed of hate that was. Always my hate has been nice and harsh <laughs> on me, but I've learned to accept it. Inevitable. That's what I've learned. How did you grow out of Mrs. Janaki? Everyone started calling me Janaki. Hey, oh. you're the Janaki guy. Okay. For some reason, I had a conflict within myself telling, hey, f- I'm doing so much work. Mm. Abhishek is not getting the due credit. Then also I knew, I'm not putting myself out there. I have a mask. Yeah. Literally, metaphorically, whatever, I have a mask. The mask really helped me uh, say a few things which Abhishek could not have said. Mm. As a character, as a, character, as a yeah. female character, mm. as a teacher, she could say X amount of stuff, which if I had said, I would have gotten 3X more hate. Mm. Got it. They're like, this entitled little kid is talking too much. But Janaki could say it. Mm. So it was nice to have that mask. After a point, I'm like, let me remove this mask. Mm. Number one, it felt very monotonous. There were days where I did brand videos through Janaki. I used to wear that kurta, kurti, whatever. I used to feel miserable. I'm like, why am I doing this? I'm sweating so much. I'm talking in a voice. Every video starting with hello. And I'm like, no, I hate it slowly, very slowly. I'm like, I'll pause. There will be a time maybe I want to do Janaki again, but let me put my face out there. Mm. Even if people don't resonate, people will be like, where is Janaki? Even till date, I get messages like, we miss Janaki. Mm. I wanted them to miss it for Janaki some reason. Janaki died in COVID, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so, I wanted to put myself out there, which slowly happened. People still call me Janaki, but my first 100k was with Janaki. Mm. Whatever I've gained after that is in my face. I'm very proud to say that, mm. which I never believed in. Mm. I thought people are going to hate me after Janaki. There's only one whole wave of people who just leave me, I thought. Mm. But it's been very nice to see people give an artist their due credit. Yeah. So, uh, I wanted to discuss this. Have you ever like noticed how like one creator has one, one defining thing in mm. career? La. Why do they want to shed that so badly? And at let least, go of it. You let mean. go of it. You uh. know, because at least with Janaki, I feel like it gave you your first big break. Yeah. I would say. It 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 wasn't like other than a defining moment of your career. La. Now you look back at it and it you... Is. Be, yeah. It kind of is, you're right. Yeah. Janaki gave me the break so, so much more that Janaki was honestly a bigger hit than Comic Star. Okay. The single character was bigger hit than such a big production. Mm. Not with no disrespect to Comic no, no, Star. No, no, I The thing is like, this is not disrespectful to Comic Star because he, Abhishek was 
the promotion for comic star yeah, yeah yeah he was literally the guy who was promoting yeah. it and he wanted because i had the number yeah, yeah i wanted because i had the numbers everything it was almost like people assumed this guy won comic star because he's famous exactly people did not know that when i shot comic star i was no one yeah i had 2000 some followers that's mm. all so which is actually kind of wild yeah, yeah. <laughs> that yeah. you won comic star too yeah, yeah it was fun great very lucky and grateful again what we talk about shed i don't i wanted to let go of janaki because it was very monotonous and i'm like i need to stop it okay i was doing the same thing again every every video had new jokes it sounded the same i kind of started disliking the character myself i'm like let me do something new yeah i feel like a lot of people they see a content creator and they're like ninga epdi dhan irukano ninga in the box kulla dhan irukano i love breaking if yeah. recently in all the singing videos i'm getting so many comments telling leave stand up you're so, such a good singer i find that to be offensive i'm like you don't tell me what to do you do not tell me what to do with all respect it's very nice that they're telling me this is better than that we can see it but i like to keep all my options open i'm going to be selfish and greedy like i told before and uh, i would like to do everything yeah because i want to satisfy me first unless it's a brand video then i want to satisfy the brand and get the money but apart from that all organic videos i want to be the first judge if i like it it goes on my page that makes sense you know how we see like content creators and then we see them like it was your defining moment and then other break pani todne they still try to like put us in boxes yeah. in the sense that okay she's like this person who does this abhishek is a person who does this abdi yeah, yeah. but what people don't realize is that these are actually people behind the content and those people are also changing you know yeah. and they're yeah. constantly changing they're constantly learning Absolutely. new things and as they're moving forward they're leaving behind this like identity identity that they created huh. so when you're growing on social media it's like a weird space because at the same time you know that like yungal ke idha meno but enak idu vena abdinu so true right now uh, videos i did last year forget janaki i'm talking about videos i did last year i will not want to do it again yeah because for some reason i don't enjoy such uh, formats or that such humor anymore you just grow out of them internet also grows yeah. forget you growing you realize internet also matures at some point bro internet matures like you in the in ah. the speed le matures yeah. like yeah so what is assumed to be very funny last year is cringe now yeah. forget unfunny yeah. it might be cringe yeah. the trends we used to do yeah. trends we still do are not going to sustain for long yeah so that's why it's very important to evolve So yeah. if you are letting go of an identity and becoming a new person it's amazing. Yeah. Audience are also going to understand at some point that this person is also maturing yeah. or whatever. I think I always feel if you do good content which is which has a lot of hard work in it it will get its due credit. Correct. Yeah. So like ipo vandu when you take a look at the content creator space mm-hmm. epdina you have trends that are happening yeah. simultaneously and then you have like content which is not falling into those trends you know right? like yeah. uh, just organic ninga venu nu pandringa like edume follow panama just like randomly yeah. out of the blue you yeah. see like a really good video yeah. you know and what i understand is that although those trends get a lot of views and a lot of likes and stuff like that this it gets a very organic yes. audience you know yes. they're just like yeah i want to see this yeah you know i have been very lucky in having audience who are not blind supporters mm. i will not have audience who follow me blindly mm. i don't have this a uh, thousand loyal fans who are going to comment on everything shit i post i have audience who are luckily very honest if a good video goes on my page it gets good reception if i know this video is shit it gets the shit reception but there are creators like you or like someone who has a very good loyal fan base you know whatever you put i'm not telling good or bad whatever you put you will have these few people who got your back mm. who comment on it i don't have such people which i'm very fortunate and i feel very good about because they push me to put organically good content so i'm i know if i work hard and put 10x amount of hard work that video will perform 10x better so it's very nice to have such audience also yeah true so speaking of speaking of growing um you and nirmal have become or a duo mari aiting yeah. and has there ever scared you like that you guys are if uh, the duo act abdin even though you ninga rendu perume individual da ஆனாலும் வந்து பாக்கும் லைக் அபிஷேக் சொல்லும்போது நிர்மல் அப்படின்னு வந்துடும் நிர்மல் சொல்லுவா அபிஷேக் அப்படின்னு வந்துடும் 
ஸோ லைக் நீங்கள் எப்பயாச்சும் யோசிச்சுருக்கீங்களா இல்லை எனக்கு வந்து இண்டிவிஜுவலாக இருக்கணும் எனக்கு வந்து லைக் நிர்மலோட பண்ணுறது இட்ஸ் ஃபன் பட் ஐ டோன் டூ இட் அப்படின்னு வி போத் ஆர் ஆல்சோ வெரி கான்ஷியஸ் இன் கெட்டிங் அவர் ஓன் இண்டிவிஜுவல் கான்டென்ட் ஒரு ஆர்ட் இன் ஜென்ரல் கோயிங் வி ஆர் வெரி கான்ஸ்டன்ட்லி வி ஒர்க் ஆன் இட் இட்ஸ் நவர் ஸ்கேட் மீ பிகாஸ் ஐ நோ ஃபார் அ ஃபேக்ட் போத் ஆஃப் எஸ் காட் நம்பர்ஸ் பிஃபோர் போத் ஆஃப் எஸ் வர் டுகெதர் போத் ஆஃப் எஸ் இண்டிவிஜுவலி ஷோட் த பீப்புள் ஆர் கெயின் ட்ரஸ்ட் இன்டர்னலி தட் வி ஒர்க் same the problem it just multiplied and bombarded mm. but apart from that we still know that it's working mm. if it was purely the two of us coming together then blowing up then maybe the fear would have been val- uh, valid mm. what if we uh, part ways and what if it doesn't work and the engle rendu perukume illa because we know if we part ways which we don't want even if we do individually respectfully uh, respectively individual content <laughs> another banger moment <laughs> respectively individual content is going to work is what we know yeah so it's never scared me but it's very important and i am luckily both of us know for a fact that we are not very dependent on each other mm. we love working with each other we would always uh, put that on priority or whatever but we at the same time we love doing stuff alone as well how epdi aach neengalo nirmaru vandu rendu perum seyindha in sarang iit madras we met for the first time okay. i was a judge and he was one of the you came as a participant or whatever we met then he did some dosa rap and all that fun i knew this guy had some crack in him edo edo or masala irukku yeah. then you know, he... everybody knows nirmal pillai through nirmal pillai i know nirmal pillai through mentor match what is what is that he used to work there he used to work <laughs> yeah he used to be a content creator there what is that mental you were also working there <laughs> uh-huh. what is mental <laughs> you're spilling a <laughs> mentor match there yeah uh-huh. it's on business okay but do you know rehan Yeah 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 Rehan and him used to do oh, content together that guy yeah that guy yes eraser <laughs> review <laughs> today we club <laughs> that guy uh-huh. so i knew nirmal back then guys. oh oof <laughs> fine fine you win <laughs> but yeah nirmal and then i started his videos started coming on my page when i was just getting over janaki and putting myself out there mm. then i'm like much i need to work together i hit him up here we are mm. damn and how did the whole show thing come together both of you ah, i always i performed stand up even before janaki like comic stand on the time lende nirmal was just attempting comedy in open mics and all but covid hit mm. this guy had never no time to test material or whatever that's when i told him acha you want to do stand up no so mm. pannala mm. but let's not do material because you don't have time to test it mm. covid la vandu open mic la avlo illa so i told him let's do crowd work mm. crowd work la you don't have to test material mm. you're just talking to crowd so i threw him in the deep end telling panna nee pannalam pannalam adinu so his first show was with the uh, first official crowd work show was with both of us we oh. did a duo show okay. which is what we are touring with now but now the show has also evolved we're mm-hmm. doing a lot of different themed shows so when the stand up edukumbodhu ellarume material kondu varuvaanga adhavadhu oru oru full idu vechi like full jokes everything packed in it but crowd work is not like that yeah. crowd work is going to the crowd and like creating content creating content right there which is scary i would combust <laughs> <laughs> it I was would... scary now that you tell it's a little scary but i love crowd work i love it because one thing i don't like is monotony repeating the same stuff is what i don't like which is why janaki also faded off for me crowd work is nothing like that mm. every show is a new show mm. in fact if you come for a show and i talk to you only in the second show your responses will be different mm. so worst case if the same 100 people come for the next show also we know that the interactions and responses will be different mm. which excites me okay i like to be put under pressure i perform better under pressure is what i feel yeah. so when i am talking to someone and i have no clue what they are going to say mm. it it's vulnerable state and yeah. for me humor is best when you are vulnerable when you blabber something and it's funny you feel so much better when i blabber something it's not funny abhishek at the point of that but no I, your audience will find it funny it, it 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 is funny because you're being so candid you're being so natural which is why you get cancelled a lot also because you blabber a lot of stupid shit i'm talking to myself no. uh, <laughs> not you myself yeah a lot of shit i've said in crowd work is backfired i don't want to give examples <laughs> guys by the way if you're wondering where we are it's nice fancy aesthetic and all but we are in some phone case shop oh, it's my brother's <laughs> office oh shit bro <laughs> I'm getting a beautiful <laughs> office. If you want to have a technical time, you want to break from your monotonous life, come to I'm not going to reveal the location. It's a lovely office. Shout out to Pop It Out guys. Pop <laughs> it out. 
I know that you perform for corporate audiences. Mm. So how does that work for you? Corporate audience is like paid promotion videos. You do it for the money. Okay. Full satisfaction करेगा. मैं एक तो रंग पंच करेंगे. Full satisfaction करेगा दे. You do it for the money because it's quick money. Pouring a one hour performance रंगे. Cost वाले दे. The cost is pretty good. Money. Mm. Because corporates have so much money. Take all the money from them. Yes. Invade their bank. Uh, but correct दना. Any of you guys are on live podcast. I'm going to talk to you guys. But people have started doing that also. You never know. Yeah, start pitching. But you don't have to go to their place to do it. You realize. So I have to go to their place to do it. Boo yeah. Batman. Anyway, corporate le, corporate le, it's fun. But uh, there are a lot of rules. A lot of don't do this. Like uh, you can't crack dirty jokes. You can't be vulgar. You can't. Uh, dig or uh, punch down on the company mm. but i love doing such things except the vulgar part i don't i don't purposely like to be vulgar on stage if a swear word slips out of my mouth that's how i talk mm. but i don't like to be vulgar mm. so that's one green flag for me to perform and number 2 it's very easy for me to write new content new jokes for the company mm. i enjoy doing it it's mm. like a challenge for me mm. it, let's say eny enz wants me to perform mm. i get on a call with the hr mm. who which ever team i'm performing for i like to get to know their insiders i like to note down the names of people i can make fun of mm. names of people i'm not supposed to even talk to mm. if i'm ready if i go with a personalized content like that they also believe that oh this guy's put x amount of effort we'll call him again okay. i enjoy that but what i don't enjoy is all these jokes are written for that show okay adoda munju the jokes and uh, most of these jokes i have to fake it telling your company is amazing super mm. i have to polish and polish mm. Which I don't like, but you have to do these things for money. Now that we've spoken about you performing, and like when you're performing, right now Abhishek, I can tell the difference between like the performing Abhishek and yeah. the sitting down, rocky, relax, sit Very. back, listen to the syntax, Abhishek. <laughs> <laughs> syntax. How different is your online persona to your offline persona? I am not as hyper, definitely, off stage. But I get hyper when there is a need. Like when I'm with my friends, mm. when I'm out and about, I get to that hyper zone. So I wouldn't say the online persona is a facade. Mm. It's a mask. Mm. There is an overlap to some extent. But I. And the Mary every time we're ping la, illa. And every time we come at it. I think in the last couple of years, the honest truth is I am tired. Mm. Not because I'm tired of burning out or something. In general, I put myself in tough schedules. Mm. I do long nights or whatever, so I'm tired. Maybe I'm not uh, taking care enough. This year I've started working on it. That's why maybe you see me relax. Maybe two years back, even the podcast like was hyper under me. One more thing I've learned is, I in general I was too hyper. Okay. It, which was not very pleasant on the uh, on camera on mm. screen. Mm. Off screen was very nice. Mm. A lot of my stand up bits, which were very funny to the live audience present there. Was not very funny online because it looks OTT. Okay. People are like, "Yeah, over up and right. Yeah, over acting, banra." Okay. People okay. don't realize that that's how I am. Got it. So maybe this is a conscious tone down mm. to be camera friendly. Mm. You never know. This also I worked on really hard. Mm. Also, since I've started acting, mm. not flexing at all. In fact, start acting. There is a meter in which you have to perform. Yeah. Maybe that meter has slowly gone into my system, and I'm maintaining that meter. Yeah. So if you ask me if the stage persona is completely different, that's also who I am. But this is what I've toned down to be. I don't know. I like the uh, I like that you use meter. Meter. That's the one term they they all. So in the phone episode, you know, Kate, I am okay. Sir, just that meter, na. Ah, meter, na. Energy level, basically. Yeah. So in the Wang, in the one vibe layer, pang, na chikon, na naip da pesa. Ah, na naip place, sorry. Ang one vibe layer, pang. Na mo in the talking layer, na hey, abdi, yaran ko na na. Meter, kami pa nengan sorry. Ah, meter, na hey, abdi sorry. Yeah. So. எனக்குற <laughs> Thank you guys. <laughs> so yeah, it's all, it, there's an overlap. At times I'm hyper. Mm. Especially shoots la when it goes after 12, no, when it's a all nighter, after one I sl- slowly lose it. Mm. I'm very hyper. I go not seen if I all people, I do stupid stuff. So Kanda. that Kanda na, ama, that side of me is also very much alive. Maybe it comes when I reach a saturation point. Mm. Yeah. 
Do you have a uh, this thing that uh, side hyper side? Yeah, one hundred percent. This I, is not you this always, is not right? Me always. Exactly. You know, always. I feel like over here I'm less I'm like more mellow Same. I'm like very chill I think before this when we s- were speaking I was little more fidgety I was yeah. little more moving around yeah. There is a camera consciousness which we all have yeah. end of the day we know this is going to go up on our respective Instagram pages mm. so yeah. it's kind of true true um toned down version of who we are Yeah yeah So inga edukumbodhu podcast la pesumbodhu one thing that I have to keep in mind is I'm not the i'm not the person that they come to see it's you no you know your podcast is going to be people who come to see you both both it's going to be an overlap of yeah. who i like so like i need to make sure that you're champion here you know which is how i want to make all my guests feel so now the, the more you do it yeah. the more people like you the more you put the other person on a higher not higher pedestal more you give spotlight to them mm. more back seat you take as a host of a podcast more people like you so it's a good thing you're doing that mm. if you're taking it in and you respond to what they say that's why bharadwaj rangan i really like because True. he listens very nice and asks questions yeah. accordingly he plays it by ear correct correct i've actually met bharadwaj rangan oh, yeah. once lovely what were you there than pace now kitta and when i spoke to him oh now i'm the like i introduced myself i was just like oh now i was individual show and chair camp din oh he's like oh super i've been i it was actually to interview the same person on the same oh, day oh right 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 okay and when i met him i asked him like how do you ask questions so well abdin yana enakku ask irukku abdin he plays it by ear i feel and then he literally told me in the mari illa avanga pesuradile namakku edhaachu thonu abdin see so that's then, very important yeah. you can have all the things it's very nice that you prepare and come but there are few free flow questions which will get lot more candid yeah. answers you will also be intrigued yeah. one thing about barwaj rangan is my biggest flex is one random day i wake up to an instagram notification telling bharatwaj rangan tagged you in a post what i have acted in many very small small roles in any films and i know for a fact it has nothing to do with none of the roles i've done because none of them are bharatwaj rangan post worthy then i go see it's a screen grab of nirmal and ayoda reel and he's posted a four five line write up telling these guys are so funny it's a post bharatwaj rangan is posted about two random comedians telling i love how candid and natural these guys are they can make humor out of anything something like that so yeah. then my biggest barwaj rangan moment is i feel like he's very appreciative of artists in general I feel and he doesn't butter them up also yeah he doesn't do that i love it two recent interviews which blew my mind was one with vidhu vinod chopra ne baathir pa nanikira very notice is very yeah. minute details amazing I, and like with a good film he can get like the good perspectives out Absolutely. you know and you One amazing thing about Bharadwaj Rangan. Sorry to interrupt you. Um, uh, is that he told in a recent uh, interview or whatever that if it's a first timer and if he doesn't like the film, he's not going to put out a review mm. because that will be discouraging. Mm. But if it's a first timer and he likes the movie, he's going to put nice stuff mm. so that they keep going. So that's an amazing trait for a reviewer because yeah. reviews can make or break. True. That's True. so nice of him. That's True. amazing. Yeah, and reviewer kaili un area power irukku because like especially when you are very well respected yeah. and un kaila vande like people respect your opinion and unga kaila irukku padavoda real influence yeah, real influence truly so it's really nice that amazing like, that's very i actually called him to be on my podcast bharatwaj sir if you're seeing please come please to my do podcast please do come it's an amazing <laughs> place you can walk out with so many free phone cases <laughs> <laughs> you will come with the phone you'll go back with the protected okay let me phone. give you some some like background enna na enga anna vandu or phone case company vechirukkaru i can't i made a do it <laughs> yes and enoda studio eppadina in the wall mattum da studio vera edhume kedaiyadhu indha office ah idhu full ave office and naanga eppome eppo shoot pannuvona in the office la irukkavanga ellarume kelamana kapporam so uh, which is on sundays and after 5 pm so they how won't... come today yeah 9 to 5 you came at 6 So uh it is the owning office it's a very humble small space and No it's not small it's pretty big Yeah <laughs> Yeah <laughs> Humble small space <laughs> No it's pretty pretty big it's not small Yeah so yeah. Yeah, um, tech potato idu rendu me just walls so yeah That's that's the setup guys we'll give you a room tour Room tour <laughs> Woo Yeah first five comments five phone cases <laughs> Dude, my brother is going to be so stoked. <laughs> pop it out. Pop it out. Let's 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 go pop it out. He's going to be so stoked. Okay. <laughs> After the small commercial break. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, Bharadwaj Rangan sir, if you're watching this, I don't think you will, but if you do, yeah. There's no I better would podcast. Love to, love to have you sir. Best podcast in Velicheri. <laughs> 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 
the place to be. Uh, you, there are a lot of content creators in Velachiri actually. Yeah, but yeah. this is the best podcast place. Niche ko niche. Ning wanda Tamil la aram chinga, okay? And then in I don't know how you did it, hmm. but your like pan India pan India right now. Na apita solva. Na apita solva. Okay, fine. So, yeah. So <laughs> today I had a conversation with someone which pissed me off. Someone from Bangalore telling very good friend. She like. I don't follow you. I'm like, okay, that's fine. Mm-hmm. But her reason was like, you're a Tamil comedian. That's why I don't follow you. See, I take all my pride in telling that I represent Tamil Nadu. I speak Tamil. It's my mother tongue. Mm-hmm. Very, I'm very proud. But there's again, I'm greedy. Mm-hmm. That's why I put out content in English. I want everyone to watch it. Yeah. End Same of the day, everyone's going to watch it and yeah. give credit to a Tamil creator. The credit is still coming to a Tamil creator. And I'm not going to go 100% English ever. Mm-hmm. There will be a few punches, few jokes which are going to come in Tamil, which is instinctive mm. it will come out of the mouth edu manna mudiyadu so if people are going to scold me telling why aren't you doing lot more tamil unfortunately naturally this is how i talk mm. so that's Sir, why selvirku vande mind voice nu vaangala adu english la irukum aama if you think about it school la irukum bodu nam ellarume tamil la pesadha nan solli vaipanga school la my school was a little different my school was same rule was there mm. speak in english but we never cared School on the lot more Tamil happened. If Abhishek was straight out of school, lot more Tamil will be there. But I went to VIT, hmm. where Tamil people are actually minority. Amma, correct. There are a lot more North Indians, lot more people from other states. So for me to make friends, for me to blend with everyone, especially hostel and everything, na, you need to make friends. Hmm. Otherwise, you'll be bullied and uh, ragged. Hmm. So that's all. VIT is all most crucial years of your life are your college years. Hmm. And in four years of your life, you've been speaking some language, you've been consuming content. Those four years only, you start watching TV shows, movies, and all. they shape you correct and the four years panna velanal da ivlo english na nanikira yeah but recently you also did one video tk <laughs> so <laughs> my hindi is dog shit un, unka hindi bahut dog shit hai bahut kharab hai <laughs> bahut kharab hai kharab hai <laughs> mera hindi bahut hard hai nahi aap urdu bolta hai na ghar pe tamil tamil yep theek hai yeah. hindi mein baat kar baat kar do do minute ke liye do minute ke liye ab hum hindi mein baat karenge ha wo आयरोनिक वीडियो है मैं हिंदी भाषा में परफॉर्म करते हैं इंप्रेस करते हैं वो मोटिवेशन और इंटेंशन नहीं है मैं मेरा हिंदी बहुत खराब है दैट विल बी द जोक दैट्स द होल पॉइंट एंड आई वांट टू डू एन एंटायर शो व्हेन आई एम डूइंग हिंदी या दे और मी मो इन द चे एवरी ना आई थिंक दे वर मेकिंग फन ऑफ तमिलियंस फॉर सेइंग थोड़ा थोड़ा हिंदी आती है आती है हिंदी मालूम है या सो आई फील लाइक अदो इट हैज लाइक अ लॉट ऑफ लाइक लाइक Every sort of the South Indians, the Kerala people, their connotation, lada, they are going, you know, because they will be like, oh my God, haha, this dumb nut doesn't know how to speak Hindi. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that is also there. <laughs> they have a theory that, especially Tamilians, don't speak Hindi. Yeah. Which we proudly. Pay some money, lada. Pay some money, lada. Which we proudly embrace. We are yeah. like, theory, adi na panuva. Avada. And I think that uh, stigma or that uh, stereotype is so hard on us that is backfired to them. Yeah. Which true. we are like, how to move it? Then, how to make it work? True. True. one reason why uh, a lot of comedians especially in india if you see any big comedian who is hindi his content left 10x more views he, yeah in the most popular let's talk about that most popular tamil comedian can be i think alex sa you or, no, no, no nirmal whatever no 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 we are not i'm not going to compare us to alex or sa the senior comedians with lot more numbers especially mm. alex vikals vikals no again vikals is in my batch mm. i would say seniors la oh. alex sa பிரவீன் குமார் கார்த்திக் குமார் அவங்க நம்பர்ஸ் பார்த்து கம்பேர் வித் மோஸ்ட் பாப்புலர் ஜாக்கிர் கான் ஒரு பஸ்ஸி மேட்சே பண்ண முடியாது நாட் பிகாஸ் தீஸ் கேஸ் ஆர் லெஸ்ஸர் இன் ஹியூமர் ஆர் வட் ஆர் தேர் ஃபன்னியர் இன் ஃபேக்ட் அக்கார்டிங் டு மீ பட் அமௌண்ட் ஆஃப் பீப்புள் கன்சியூமிங் ஹிந்தி கான்டென்ட் இன் இந்தியா ஆர் ரியலி லார்ஜ் ரியலி லார்ஜ் யா வைட் இன் தமிழ் காமிக்ஸ் தான் ஒர்க் நம்பர் 1 இஸ் நாட் அஸ் பனி வட் பட் கன்சூமர்ஸ் ஆர் வெரி லெஸ் Hindi yeah. or the consumers are so much that they have three seasons of comics now. Yeah. So, how do I tell you this? How do I tell you that in India, there are a lot of people geographically in India. That's why. That's why. That's why. Okay. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. Hindi comics have an advantage over South comics. I'm not saying that. Malayalam, Kannada, Telugu, Yara, and Dalo. We cannot yeah, compete to them in terms of numbers. 100%. Because now, how do I tell you that? If you look at India level, Hindi creators get so many more opportunities than any of the South Indian regional creators. Why are you talking about this? At one point, I think, when Nothing Phone was released, they sent it to all the tech people who were in the North. 
not a single person in the south got it not of south indian creators don't even get credit yeah. because of like oh you are lesser in numbers lot of uh, brands or deals or campaigns end, end in bombay end in bombay it goes to bombay ends in bombay ends so you are right about it not reaching down south yeah it and never does you know, opportunities are lot more to them because bombay as a space if you are creator opportunities are a lot yeah yes. so ena eppadi paakrena bombay vandu la of india and the movie it's quite uh, literally like little more forward bollywood 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 very easy to put yeah. it Yeah. So, எப்படி நம்ம வந்து நம்ம ரீஜனல் கிரியேட்டர்ஸ் வந்து ஏதாச்சும் ஒரு அவார்டுக்கு வந்து சப்போஸ் அவங்க நாமினேட் ஆயிட்டாங்கன்னா ஃபர்ஸ்டா வந்து தமிழ் தெலுங்கு கன்னடா அவங்களுக்கு நம்ம அவார்டு போடுவோம் ஏன்னா வந்து எனக்கு பார்க்கணும் என்ன மாதிரி யாராச்சும் ஒருத்தவங்க வந்து வின் பண்ணணும் என்ன மாதிரி என்னோட சைட் ஆஃப் தி பீப்புள் இருந்து எனக்கு பார்க்கணும் அப்படின்னு ஏன்னா வந்து நிறைய அவார்ட்ஸ் ஒரு நிறைய ரெகக்னேஷன் கொடுக்கும் போது கண்டிக்கவே மாட்டாங்க சவுத்ல இருக்கிற கிரியேட்டர்ஸ் அந்த அந்த கேட்டகரியில இருக்கு நான் நெவர் सीन சவுத் கிரியேட்டர்ஸ் கெட் அவார்ட்ஸ் சவுத் பீப்பிள் டோன்ட் ஈவன் கெட் நாமினேட்டட் டா தட்ஸ் தி ரீசன் because for some reason it's a bubble i'll tell you why because uh, for them they don't see south creators in the same category as them that's the problem pay grade on different அது உங்களுக்கு தெரியுமா என்ன தெரியல but uh, i'll tell you why i know this i'll tell you why the pay grade is different I have done TV commercials down south. I have done same TV commercials in Bombay. Mm. If it's a Hindi ad, mm. I get paid 3x. Mm. Generally, Bombay or the commercials say are different. Mm. That's why maybe they get more pay or whatever. And we also need to start charging more. Mm. Only if there's a market rate in Sulawesi. Mm. South, we have this bad habit of thinking: what if we overcharge our worth? what if you are charging too much no you charge so much mm. so that the next creator who's upcoming can have the same rate slab mm. if you're going to settle for one by half of what the rate is telling idu vanda poru anakne you are demotivating the following set of bunch of creators to get paid that much mm. you understand that's why bombay people are shameless they are like fuck this shit i'm going to charge 5x mm. they land 3x mm. but we are like 1x irukku ana bayama irukke 2x polam annu 1x e charge pannalam solittu we settle we need to learn all those things from them we need yeah. to overcharge enak epdi theriyum na na vandu tech potato la vandu english la poduven content ana vandu enoda page ku vandu tamil la da na adhigama poduven ella page la ta like personal page that potato face potato face la and na vandu ena notice panna na avanga vandu na north indian nu misunderstand panni அவங்க வந்து எனக்கு பிரேஸ் கே வந்து சொல்லும்போது அப்பதான் எனக்கு புரிஞ்சிச்சு லைக் ஓ மை காட் சோ மச் மோர் யூ கேன் சார்ஜ் யா எஸ் சோ வந்து நான் ஐ ஆல்ரெடி ஸ்போக் அபௌட் ஹவ் ஐ திங்க் அபௌட் ஆட்ஸ் ஐ ஃபீல் வெல் இஃபி வென் யூ ஆர் லைக் பம்பார்டிங் பீப்பிள் வித் ஆட்ஸ் இட் இஸ் இட் இஸ் இட் இஸ் சட் அட் லீஸ்ட் बिफोर தி நியூ ஐ வாஸ் தமிழியன் தே யூஸ் டு மிஸ் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் மீ ஃபார் தி நார்த் இந்தியன் யா சோ தே யூஸ் டு கிவ் மீ அ டிஃபரண்ட் பிரேஸ் கே அண்ட் லைக் தி திங் இஸ் both of them are very different accounts overall adnala mm. enak i am not able to tell you properly is it because of this or not abdina because it's also the fact that i'm in tech over there yeah. and over here i'm lifestyle abdi solikalam so yeah overall i've always thought that south indian creators ku nariya recognition varanu nammalo vande like eppadi vande oru niharika va eduthukongala she is like a south indian creator who you can say is like oh she's big abdi because she put lot more english content i english la potta adanal reach jaasti aachu see uh, one advantage for south indian creators i'll tell you as a first hand exp- exp- uh, experience whatever we are there all over the world mm. every show i've gone out and performed 95% are tamilians and malayalis mm. who are my audience mm. 5% of the local foreigners non indians whatever which means we are there all over the world mm. there is so much to tap for mm. us mm. just that uh, maybe adding english will have a wider reach mm. which is what these north indian creators do in spite of them doing mostly hindi content they have a lot more english as well mm. but na adala panna nu solla namukku pidicha da panna poru na edhukku idella vandu solren na open a ena therinjukonga ena indha maari nadakkudhu appdinu and already vandu oru oru content sphere la eduthitinga na tamilians telugu people kannada people all of malayalis all of them are like thought of as not as big enough or not big as yeah. the hindi creators abdi nyosipanga na vandu franka solra ninga ne attack kudey panikonga illa it's true yeah. it's it comes from a lot of places yeah. numbers so, nala vandha problem idu 
I V I V especially yeah. shouldn't be talking because we do a lot more English content. Yeah. But people like, hate. Ba. Now when they English, they don't pay so much. But Anna, very yeah. proud that yeah. to be representing Chennai and representing Bangalore or whatever. Yeah. But in our know, audience, so in Tamil, now but now when they coach each other, now when they, yeah, they come when they, they put the pay so much. Abdin, cake, come on, coach each other. Now we can only say that. I mean, you don't say that. But please go on. But I, I agree with you. For some reason, we are not treated the same level as the North creators are. Mm. Very nice point you brought up that. Award functions, I have never seen a South creator win awards. But give me five creators who have blown your mind. In uh, North South India. Award. South. Okay. Who have like blown your mind? Shakir is good, but he's not as big in, as it is. Shakir is good. Okay, I've okay. seen two three videos of you also with him. No, you should see his YouTube videos. Okay. He's too good there. Okay, fine. Okay. I'll I'll check it out. Good. Yeah. Thanks for recommending. Yeah, Shakir is actually brilliant, brilliant content creator. I. I'll watch his videos. He actually makes. Very original, original stuff. stuff. Very. He has a voice. Yeah. One thing that I really like about Abhishek was when he was putting organic content. Adi kapro sell out Abhishek anar. On the ad bar ad pote taakna. Ah. So see, we were talking. Uh, we were talking about it off camera, and then yeah. suddenly roll panaram shta. So we're gonna keep it. Yeah. We're, we're gonna not gonna keep... stop talking and pretend like we never spoke about it. Yeah. Samiha very sweetly told me, "What the f- are you doing? Why are you selling random products to me?" Ila. எனக்கு <laughs> 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 I'll be very honest it's great that you told me I know I'm very well aware that the ratio has been off usually what we creators do is either the ad campaign and mari vandudna we put it out but before and after the ad campaign we have a lot of organic stuff correct funny videos add funny videos and go but since I'm shooting for a few projects I don't have time mental energy working brain or physical energy to put out a lot of content and ads so when I whenever I get break from shoots ads are waiting it's become that point where brands are like you need to accept panting a brand deal because middle class mentality idu poichana nalla deal a irke kaasu venum kaasu venum kaasu venunga edhu panna mudiyadhu the whole point we work so hard to get numbers is that at some point we'll get good brand deals we'll charge lot more in fact in the break also we were discussing about how much creators charge mm. which has become a topic because we want to charge that much mm. otherwise we wouldn't be discussing this na enna idu yeah. solikiren i actually don't get paid at all like <laughs> she should get paid in fact she is not telling it she is crying about it because you also want to get paid lot yeah. she will get paid lot more become a sell out not not as much I'm, as me i'm never going to sell out as much as abhishek though i will reach a point <laughs> in i'll tell you what i'll tell you what i will keep selling out but i'll keep it moderately no na enna solrana abhishek neenga vandu back to back ads podringa correct adha solla varana adha solla illa na adu thappu neenga unga na or fan ah or person ah ungaloda page paakumbodhu epada abhishek ah organic ah content poda pora appdin wait panniter pa it's very true yeah. no it's me also i yeah. i also hate i in fact fought with my manager telling that why is there two back to back brand deals seriya plan panlaya nu it was actually a problem mm-hmm. i i can show you the messages so it happens enna na and shoot la panninga na I've always wondered why actors are not great content creators. Actors have so much audience, especially down south. They only promote brands, they promote their movies, they leave. I realized I'm not telling I'm a big actor or something. When you're packed with so much schedule, the free days like you just want to chill. You don't want to do you don't want to do anything. But I know that I'm done with the project, now that I'm done with the shoot, I will post organic stuff and send it to you. Every organic reel I post, I'm going to send it to you. You like it or not, watch it. You know, when the funny video pour no, Abdin could you? No, you party could you video pouring? Correct. You know, 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 ஸோ எனக்கு எப்படி நான் ஒரு ஒரு கான்டென்ட் கிரியேட்டர் நான் போன எபிசோட்லேயும் அதை பற்றி பேசினேன் ஒரு கான்டென்ட் கிரியேட்டர் நிறையா ஆட்ஸ் போட்டுட்டே இருந்தாங்கன்னா தென் ஐ ஃபீல் லைக் தேர் செல்லிங் மீ சம்திங் தென் ஐ ஃபீல் லைக் தே டோன்ட் வாண்ட் டு டூ த ஹோல் லைக் ஆர்கானிக் லைக் அவங்க யூஸ்வலாக போடுற கண்டென்ட்டை வந்து ஐ ஃபீல் வெரி ப்ரௌட் ஆஃப் மை செல்லிங் அவுட் ஆல்சோ செல் அவுட் நார்மலி that's also I, that's one thing with comedy creators is that avanga yeah. pandra ad liyum joke oda dhaan i don't i strictly tell the i in fact i put i write scripts only for brand videos mm. every other comedy video you see of mine is on the go mm. impromptu 
ரோல் பண்ணி அடிக்கிறது ஹியூர் ஐ புட் எஃபர்ட் திஸ் இஸ் ஓன்லி ஸ்கிரிப்ட்ஸ் விச் கோ டூ அண்ட் ஃப்ரோ கெட்டிங் கரெக்ஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் ஆல் தட் மச் ஹார்ட் ஒர்க் ஐ புட் ஸோ டீப் இன் சைட் ஐ எம் லைக் ஐ ஒர்க் ரியலி ஹார்ட் டு கெட் திஸ் பிராண்ட் டீல் ஐ ஒர்க் ரியலி ஹார்ட் டு கெட் திஸ் மச் அமௌண்ட் லெட் மீ ஒர்க் ஃபர் இட் கெட் இட் அவுட் ஐ ஒன் மோர் திங் ஐ நோ ஃபர் அ ஃபேக்ட் இஸ் ஆஃப்டர் தட் வாட் எவர் செல்லிங் அவுட் வீடியோஸ் ஒன் ஆர் டூ ஆர் ஃபியூ ஐ நோ தெர் இஸ் அ ஃபனி வீடியோ விச் ஆடியன்ஸ் இல் லைக் ஐ கேன் அஷோர் யூ and myself that adhe eppadi irukku theriyuma unskippable ad mari irukku youtube perfect great good good it's amazing that you are telling me honestly yeah yeah solata yena vandu neenga pandra ore ore video ku na naala ad paakanum na naala ad paakra mari ya podra na okay puri puri understood i purbuli i i'm going to put out a few videos where you have, don't see any ads they'll be pure organic videos inga inga skippable ads a varum adhe skip pannidu yeah so i've made a mistake yeah I'll, i'll i'll tell you i'll tell you where i come from again these are two different mm. school of thoughts i come from doing 3 years of theater mm. where kaase varadhu onnum me kedaadhu na manasu art abadi ibdi panuvinga genuinely na veetla da thittuvaanga vera edhume sambhavikka mattey i'll tell you what the worst part is i did theater after engineering where my dad spent in a private college vit he spent few lakhs it is not like a normal college in a daily way in a timurul i told my parents that i am not going to take up a job i am going to theater first i was placement ke okkar le ninga or job okkandu kadichirchu but it is not i, was, I didn't want to take it up okay it is a usual 100% placement on one of those jobs evlo timura irukum enak eduthukla those 3 years i was kind of delusional mm. i learned a lot the reason i'm so confidently speaking to you on stage is because of those 3 years i dealt with a lot of kids kids are the most honest critics onnu pidikalana pidikala they are like those kid in kuptar enak 22 vayasaach onna na kudiye illa onna na kid kudna fine you are a kid jk jk tamil whatever uh, so i have seen years of putting my art out without getting monetary rewards so maybe it's that middle class boy again circling back i am not from a very wealthy family as well so deep inside there's a guilt that i didn't give my parents enough for what they gave me so maybe this is my time to give make them also happy avangal nalla or okara sofa avum veedu kuduttana you will see there won't be lot of these ads there will be a point where i stop doing these ads i assure you this video is a proof that there will be a point where i'll be paid to do only organic original content until then i'm going to be a sell out beautiful ungalku palla products a vippenga soap seep nu kanna abinan vippen ana effort potu vikkren after a point soap seep en per la varum apdi pannu organic videos so i'm i'm not going to be a fake and tell you samiha na pannave maatten solla maaten pannila actually na vandu nareya brand reels edukadanaala na vandu sariyama solla mudiyadhu indha maari i love it that you told me this it was a slap to me i know for a fact now i my ratio will be 4:1 or something like that it won't be 1:1 mm. i love it someone needed to tell me this everyone had it in their head or people who like my work but no one would have told me this so thank you for telling me this very sweet of you <laughs> but audience i will be a sellout for a bit but after a point nothing Yeah. you won't see much from me but na epovume nanapa na or agency la endha kuli na avlova na edukka maten abdinu ena nama vandu panathukku aasa pottittu nama vandu unmayana self vandu sell panni irukkuradhu abdin solittu neenga nenikiradhu correct da no you nee nenikiradhu dhaan correct na avana thappave solla i'm with you in this but you know i don't know about you but me you know when i was doing content i knew audience will like my content and all but somewhere in me you know i wanted to reach a point where i'm right now Mm. I want to reach a point where I have brand deals coming in. I want to reach a point where Yeah, even I, I want to creatively reach that point. Sell out. Yeah. And you're fresh into it I feel. Your yeah. stage of content creation in mine are very different. Got it, got I it. had years of content put out yeah. where there was no virality. Yeah. You're in the heat of things where audience actually give a shit. Okay. Now for the more they want to call about. So and the cover and the zone la na iruken. Yeah. So it's very important that someone had to tell me this. Yeah. I will work on it. Yeah, yeah. Personally I feel like என்ன ஆயிடுச்சுன்னா நம்ம ஒரு சொசைட்டியாவே பாக்குற கான்டென்ட்னா ஜென்வனா சொல்றாங்க சொசைட்டியில வந்து நம்ம எல்லாருமே ஒரு வாக்கிங் அட்வர்டைஸ்மெண்ட் போர்டு மாதிரி ஆயிட்டோம் எல்லாருமே வந்து ஏதாச்சும் ஒண்ணு வித்துக்கிட்டே தான் இருக்காங்க நம்ம கிட்ட இந்த வீடியோல ஐ திங்க் வி ஸ்போக்கன் அ லாட் அபவுட் ஹவ் மணி ஒர்க்ஸ் இன் த கான்டென்ட் கிரியேட்டர் ஸ்பேஸ் ஹவ் பீப்புள் சார்ஜ் இன் த கான்டென்ட் கான்டென்ட் கிரியேட்டர் ஸ்பேஸ் லைக் ஓவரால் தி திங் இஸ் now when the yeah in the content creator me when they put an ad i 
I don't like seeing it, but at the same time, I'm just like, okay, I need to support this person because, because you would do, do it at that. some point. I would do that at some point, you know. So when I even <laughs> if I sell out in the future, don't hate me, guys. My but biggest, I genuinely don't. I don't think I will sell out. It's okay to sell out. You're working hard to make money. I do like one two videos. <laughs> now the my biggest inspiration here was Danish said, okay, mm. Danish said also. I used to closely follow his ratio. He would look at the ratio. After a point, it became low because he also started shooting. Mm. That's when I realized it's not how you count, how you see it. If people like that video also, it's a good job. Mm. Daniel Said has a one vibe to it. No, Daniel Said is not an influencer. Yeah. He's a content creator. Yeah. And he's been creating content for, for ages. For ages, yeah. So it's nice that he's finally getting his due credit. That's why he's also selling out a lot. Because Daniel Said, while he was doing those FM pranks, would not have gotten this much. credit mm. so all this is due credit for his hard work then yeah, yeah so overall like i still am at a very like weird place when it comes to like creating or selling uh, out selling out it's fine you can take it i your time. i still ha- yeah, i can take my time are, i i also know for a fact if i was rich if i come from a very comfortable background i will not be this hard working mm, got it yeah i love the fact that i'm not rich i i won't call myself poor mm. i love the fact that i'm middle class which makes me strive more I hate the fact that I'm middle class. No, you know I hate the fact that I'm middle class, but I know if I was rich, no, I was I will not be this hard working. Two, there are two wolves in me. I hate the fact that I'm middle class. Yeah. You know, I, I, I love you know, the like, fact you know that, that meme I'm meme with the <laughs> bicep. I love the fact that I'm middle class. Yeah, I, but I hate it. I yeah. hate the fact that I'm poor, but at the same time I love it that I get to uh, achieve a lot of dreams my parents wanted to achieve. It's yeah. amazing. It's one wholesome feel. Yeah. So, like, you know, Sonomari. But if you go now, and the audience can't be solemn today, they are going to be like sell out. Yeah. So you're right. That's yeah. the slap you gave me. Yeah. So, but it's nice to tell. Sorry. It's nice to rant. No, I love it. I love the fact that you told. But it's nice to cry and be honest in a podcast. Yeah. So, like, you know, Sonomari. Like, when you when you are middle class, mm. you have that. Oh shit! One day I'm going to be rich. One yeah. day, and then I'll prove you wrong. Prove you wrong. <laughs> prove you wrong. Prove who wrong. Oh, like the people who thought no of you. You know, when you're middle class, you're always thinking about like, oh, or na la panakara wa apni papa da de bully or whatever. Yeah. You're always thinking like that. You know, like at least I had bullies when I was in school. I for me it was opposite. You I had, bullied, huh? <laughs> no, no, I had really no, uh, no, no, no supporting bullies. <laughs> Cancel. <laughs> No, I had really uh, relatively richer friends. Same. In both school and college. Yeah. Who were taking care of me? Yeah. But you know, deep inside, they are like, "Why am I feeding this girl?" Also, yeah. you know, the places which you go to, especially in in college like VIT, is are quite rich, which you can't afford. These I can't sit out because these guys are like, "New or no? He wants to go." But you go oh, there. Oh, entertainment do, I know. Entertainment do. Oh, I'm going to go. And the pay for no, no. But I know for a fact, deep inside, they were like, "Why am I paying for one more person? Why am I yeah. parenting another person?" Yeah. So it feels very nice now. Then you are self-sufficient. Self-sufficient and. I can, you know, take them out and give them. I think dinner. it's like a middle class thing. As soon as you earn money and you you treat, you, treat, you splurge. Yeah, especially my first, for your friends I'll and family. I tell you, I'm such an idiot. Now, recently I had the school of thought while crossing WCC. Well, for WCC. Oh, sister, I'm going to be doing it. But you're going to be doing it. I'm going to Canada. I'm going to do research. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Stalker. Always, guys. <laughs> Always. <laughs> okay. Kid. So WCC was my first cultures where I got paid. Mm. My first year of college. Oh, cultures! Kill pay lam pandrang la. I tell you my whole life in VIT I survived because of culturals. Oh, andavari ah shit. Okay. I won. Yeah, yeah, same same. Uh-huh. same. I've done that also. So, uh, VIT uh, WC they go I win two awards. I got 2500 bucks. Mm. I could have kept 2500 for VIT or one month salary ke sarak whatever. But I went I got India I got one bag for my mom, one shirt for my dad, one wallet for my tata, gave to them. I had some 500 left. Now that I think I was such a poor money manager, but I love the fact that I can give when I get. It's yeah. a great feeling, yeah. especially when you don't have. Especially much. as an elder brother, you know. I didn't give anything to my sister, but, but uh, as an elder brother, yeah. I think like family apart, you know, and the responsibility little bit is there on your shoulder. Maybe it's an inbuilt it's there, quality. It's there. It's there. But yeah, that reminded me of college where I used to go to fests with. No money. Yeah, and then anga jay chite. Aga no. Jay chite. Aga no. I used to go to Calicut, yeah. uh, Mangalore, and all that. Inga Bombay gora bilta. Yeah. If I don't win, I can't have the social life my friends are having in that fest. So I think somewhere deep inside the yeah, yeah, yeah. pressure uh, performance for me was the same thing happened to me in WCC. I got five yeah. hundred rupees, <laughs> and 
I used that 500 rupees to like a band to pour the cake. Yeah. Like, it yeah. was perfect, guys. Yeah, so. So 250, 250. I was just like, ha, para free up a cultural center. Yeah. But yeah. It's great. Yeah. It's very rewarding. Yeah. I, you know, when you're middle class, also you're also like in the mari. You are also trying to like build a life, you are trying to build the wealth for like yourself mm. later on, you know, yeah. you don't, you don't want to be rich as in like spending it everywhere, like spending it on luxury. That's the tough part. So, That's the tough part, yeah. Lot of kids have a great uh, head start mm. where a lot of money they earn is for them. Mm. You know, yeah. the privilege that, that is. That is middle class privilege. A lot of kids, whatever money they are earning is for them. They save for them. Mm -hmm. It's a whole different thing when you have to save for your parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you have to take, save for a family. True. On the distance is so much that you have to sell 7x more brands mm -hmm. to get to that same place where you start saving for yourself. Correct, correct. Yeah. That's why I'm a sellout. Wow. It's crazy, guys. Ma, I, like, the more and more you meet, uh, like, you are in the space, right, as a creator, the more and more you hear about like these brands and these deals and all of that and all of these things are like shiny things, you know, like Ornal Ongal Kunkarekum Abdin Varidu Ruko. But at the same time it makes me very like every sort of the it's I don't the word isn't coming to me, but it's like a very you understand that the world revolves around money. You know? It's a capitalist world. Yeah. The world revolves around money. And Nala night pura okan the Yosipa and the Mari because this is one little Samiha sleeping, suddenly waking up. Why are you sleeping? No, Abhishek, why are you sleeping? Everything runs yeah. on money. Yeah. The like, best part money can buy you is time. I don't know why I don't know. No, I don't know. No, I'm telling you, it can buy you time. Because you get to chill. Okay. Why are you working so hard for money? Got it, got when it. When you have so much uh, money, uh, you can chill. Uh, got there's it, no got rush, there's uh, no time you have. Time uh, to chill. Yeah. So, so, like, it's very, no, the word is very much. You don't have to worry so much. Yeah. You are in a comfortable space, touch wood. Mm, yeah. Chill. Create good content and entertain us while we sell the brands for you. <laughs> Woo! Casting director, on blank call. Getting it, getting it. Talk like a manager. Hello. Hello, this is Abhishek's manager. Who am I speaking to? Okay. Meena, what is your name? Uh, my name is Shweta. Shweta. Okay, alright. Okay, I'm uh, see there's an ad coming up. This is for an, uh, a mattress called. Okay. And uh, the um, it is with that. So it's a one-day shoot. I need to know how much Abhishek will charge for this. Okay, I'll I'll text you to this number with his costings. All right. Okay. Okay. It's thank a you. One-day shoot. Yeah. yeah. Bye. All right. Thank you. When is bye. this happening? Can I know that? Either the first or the second of the next month. Okay. Great. Um, yeah. I'll send you a message to this number on WhatsApp. Yeah. Right. Okay. Thanks, Shweta. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye. As a manager. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Speaking of capitalism, <laughs> freaking wild, bro. Abhishek is just wild. Okay, say hi to me. Okay? If it happens, yeah. <laughs> what are we talking about? I was talking about how capitalism makes the world better. We get a TV commercial. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most like you know, ironic the, moment. Ironic moment. Yeah, can't get Damn. better, bro. <laughs> this is so crazy. Okay. Uh. Anyways, guys, in a Kormari now, and there was I'm in a zone. I think I'm put in a spiral. <laughs> I've got you a zone. But, uh, fried with potato. Fried with potato, indeed. Everyone fries me. They yara chu. Yeah, I'm, I'm giving you gyan. So much gyan. So today. much gyan, yeah. True. Sorry. It's okay, guys. It's okay, Abhishek. Mm. <laughs> she, she's gone to a zone. <laughs> Should I ask you questions? <laughs> what are you working on this year? What is something new? For me, uh, I just really want to make this podcast a, like a big deal. Nah, Pan-Indian success. No, nah, yeah, yeah, Pan-Indian success. Nah. What do your favorite podcast India? Like? I genuinely don't watch any other podcast. Dude, Nikhil Kamath's podcast is amazing. You should watch yeah. it. You have not seen it? No. No. Nikhil Kamath, I don't know. His Anna, podcast is very nice. Very I've nice. seen one or two episodes of it. The but like, yeah, The Tanme but one yeah, I watched, the, the Nas guy came. Nas guy came. So, I watched like one or two episodes but 
ஆனஸ்ட்லி நான் அவங்க நிறைய பாட் நான் வந்து என் நான் பண்ற கான்டென்ட் வேற யாராச்சும் பண்றாங்கன்னா நான் அதை கன்சியூமே பண்ண மாட்டேன் சோ தட் யூ டோன்ட் ஃபீல் காம்படிட்டிவ் யூ டோன்ட் ஃபீல் கம்பேரிட்டிவ் நோ இட்ஸ் बिकॉज தென் அவங்க பண்றத பார்த்துட்டு நானும் அவங்கள மாதிரி பண்ணனும் அப்படி நினைப்பேன் இதுதான் வந்து மெத்தட் பண்றதுக்கு அப்படி யோசிக்க ஆரம்பிச்சிருவேன் நினைச்சிட்டு நான் பண்ணாமே விட்டுருவேன் பார்க்காமே விட்டுருவேன் என்ன பண்றாங்க அப்படி நான் மத்தவங்க கிட்ட கேட்டு தெரிஞ்சிப்பேன் இவங்க என்ன பண்றாங்க அப்படினு பட் அவங்க வீடியோஸே நான் பார்க்க மாட்டேன் நான் இன்ட்ரஸ்டிங் because then you are actually like avanga pandrad paathu okay nanu indha mari pesnu nanu indha mari effects pannu no then you are not thinking by yourself you know you are not thinking originally abdin yosippa mm so i don't watch a lot of but you should yeah that, that's not that i think i like watching comedy so much because i can't do it even i love watching stuff other than mine i compl- yeah. i don't watch a lot of comedy specials because yeah. i'm like what if I feel very competitive number one. Mm. Number first thing I think is how do I better this? Yeah. I don't I feel one immediate com- competition even if I watch some legends yeah. thing no the delusional mind in us like how do I better this how do I do something better? Because then it becomes work. Yeah. Ningavande That's why I love watching dance reels. Yeah. <laughs> I love watching food vlogs. I love watching travel vlogs. It's completely apart to what you do. That is me consuming content. Yeah. If it's the same thing it's me analyzing work like yeah. you said. Yeah. I love watching brainless stuff. in spite of it being comedy yeah. i don't watch a lot of comedy see the irony Anna, in that adhe da nanu solra in spite of being in a podcast i don't watch a lot of podcast yeah. it's the podcast same podcast is at least informative it can still doesn't work for me yeah. still doesn't because it becomes work yeah. you start analyzing then i was just like oh namma namma podcast la ipdi pannalinga yeah there used to be a point where people scroll reels to switch off from their monotonous day like, yeah what was it called doom scrolling doom scrolling still yeah. is do- called doom scrolling but i used to scroll reels and think Oh, okay. We did. We did. We did. We did. Imagine watching yeah. reels and thinking, and thinking work. work. Yeah. So I don't. I don't think this is like relatable to a lot, a lot of, of people. people. But, but it's but very toxic being a creator at some yeah. point. Yeah. I. That one day, or the mental health one day, maintain. Pan that because nariya vishyam panna no. That is watching. Not watching within your own field. So I think to answer your question is I want to make this podcast a pretty. Damn cool. cool. Yeah. I think it's on right track. Yeah. You have great guests. Yeah. Guests just keep getting better. Yeah. Keep getting better. <laughs> nice sellout, Sonali Kumar. <laughs> Damn foreshadowing. It's okay. <laughs> Figure. What is your goal for this year? I had a few goals but I have already exceeded them. I'm in a great space right now. The whatever show I've acted in is might come out soon. Okay, tell me. Okay, now now is the time you tell them. I've acted as a lead in a web series. So, it's I never imagined myself to be I've always you know I have this weird habit, okay? I've always wanted to be the second best guy. From childhood, I've loved Rafael Nadal mm. because there was always Roger Federer who is killing it i love being the underdog. underdog i love that so i've always seen the hero's friends characters to be very cute yeah they they always set it up for the hero to land the final punch yeah. so i've always imagined myself to be the second guy third guy because i feel that role is also very valuable so i never imagined myself to play lead but i did play lead feel surreal congratulations Thank that's you. crazy i don't know whenever that will come out it will come out whenever it comes out i acted my first hindi film that's also coming out soon adha na sonna pan india na adhu sonna da samaya not at all pan india so i'm not pan india i know i'm not pan india but uh, yeah that is coming out soon then uh, us tour is there with a the stand up oh my god uh, what is the procedure to be my manager yeah. you want me pardon me dude uh, please you're on the right path if i get to meet finish that It'll blur the name okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> what if i don't do the ad yeah. it'll be embarrassing yeah, yeah. but uh, that's, that's also a childhood dream to go to us yeah. it's the engineering parents sort of mentality anga masters padika poriyanu but adha la pannala so i'm finally going to the us after that i'll start working on my own solo stand up special that's the plan for the second half but overall plan is to create that's more organic thing. original content let's go and that's what i'm looking for brother yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm happy for you man yeah. you've come a long way uh, really I really so am. sweet thanks yeah because now 2020 lende paathu irukku ungala so sweet thanks yeah i hope it works yeah i really do yeah. i feel like fail proof now what you're fail proof now even no no you never know you never know don't say that okay don't say what is fail proof fail proof what a term i want to dig deep fail proof now i think like even if mm-hmm. those or all of those things don't work out yeah. you can like pull your socks up and still do something yeah so it's like fail proof in the sense wow. that all of these things are just like added bonuses this podcast has been a roller coaster of emotions for me <laughs> ego boost slap <laughs> it's that or this it shows that 
you give a shit yeah, so very I sweet do. that's amazing i don't know if you're, you do do that to please your guests who come to the podcast but it's great yeah. but uh, that's the best compliment i've received in a, in a while yeah thank Fail you too. what a term pull your socks up <laughs> amazing but yeah that's also one of the reasons why i'm greedy and i do multiple things I because get it. one tanks i have other to bank yeah. on especially with art and india and when you're middle class like your shelf life pati yos to get air on and i cry you know everything is a bubble everything you never know when instagram i don't know when the content creator bubble yes. is going to burst so it's going to happen someday and i would love to talk about it before i'll sell all the brands and make all the money <laughs> even better <laughs> but yeah see that's my that's such polar opposites i'm just like no and he's just like I, yes i was like this yeah being very conscious then i realized i know my people will like the content i put if it's organic i feel like now me talking about it will actually backfire for me later no it's, it's going to people are going to be more conscious about what i do because they'll be like ama la inda payan ivlo vittukittirukana they you made them conscious of me oh, i think shit. i'm so sorry But I don't anyways, know I've I embraced it. Ellame vande or learning curve da now that you know you've clearly made it a fact that it's a mistake of a shit. No it's not it's a not, mistake. I'm saying it's not a learn it's a learning curve it's, fine. It's a learning curve fine. because like now you know that seri when the ratio maati podnu yeah. and then it is a learning curve. It's a slap. Illa <laughs> vishek. <laughs> the clap first was this clap then was this. <laughs> Okay, mocker jokes for the sound. That's fine. That's who we are. Yeah, but overall, I feel like oh, um, this is such been such a wild podcast because mad. I feel like we've been very honest about yeah. like everything yeah. about like full reality check. Full checks. reality check as to how content creators work, and oh, I feel like I think they would have walked into this podcast thing. It's going to be entertaining, fun, and all. Yeah. It's the last thing. Yeah, we're like sitting talking like therapy. Dude, film bro <laughs> content <laughs> finance bro tech bro we have discussed nana. everything yeah. yeah man what a podcast thank you so much abhishek for coming thank here. you so much i i'm thank you so much for being so honest you know man. like sama like ellarume vandu olichu maranje pesuvaanga idu patti but i feel like you just put it on your no, you called me out so i had no option to but to be honest <laughs> <laughs> sorry i guess <laughs> fine fine i needed it yeah. i loved it Anyways thank you so much guys for tuning into this podcast and uh, I think this is my first episode after hitting uh, 100k subscribers so, you get a silver you. button you get the sell out <laughs> thank you so but much. I, i have to say something as well i really like your content you're very original i think you should stick to what you believe thank you and i like the fact that you have multiple things going on mm-hmm. it shows that you're very aware of what can work what cannot i'm a fan of keeping all the options open you're on the same Yeah, more like school of thought. I think yeah. it's amazing, and you know, you dance more. Don't let go. Keep that all uh, uh, option also open. Sure. You got a lot of uh, fans for dancing. Maybe that's also why you don't want to do more of it. But I think you should it's occasionally. Sandeer Suri and Varughi, Sandeer and we'll post a dance reel today, guys. Oh, okay. we should do it. We should. We're posting a dance reel. We'll do it. It's a dance reel today. It's a dance reel today. That's. No. Fuck! I never imagined I'll <laughs> dance on Instagram. Let's do it. Yeah. Anyways, th- I wanted to take this opportunity to thank everyone and, um, for subscribing to my channel. Yeah. I don't know why I'm getting so emotional, <laughs> nervous about it. Why? I don't know. 500k <laughs> soon, guys. I'm calling it. Today is uh, 16th March. By October, you'll have 300 to 400k. End end of the year, 500 plus. Okay. But are you posting shorts also on the same page? Yeah. 500 very soon. Okay, inshallah, guys. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, very soon. And I'm just glad to have this milestone. And thank you all for subscribing. Thank you, Abhishek, for being here. You've been such a wonderful guest to have, thank and you so much. we've had such an honest conversation. And with that, brings us to the close of the 20th episode of Fries with Potato. And with that, signing off. Samiha, Abhishek. Bye. Dance video soon.